Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here. And today I've got another short little unboxing to share with you guys. I do not know what's in here, but we're gonna find out together. This was sent by Jordan. Thank you very much, Jordan. He's, I believe, sent a few things to the channel. So thanks for uh, loaning me another knife to show everybody. Thanks to my generous patrons who are supporting me right now. There's a link for Patreon right down below. And please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. All right, let's go ahead and get in here. I, le I legitimately have absolutely no idea. <clears throat> sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Let's just get in there. Okay, we have something wrapped in a paper towel. We have, oh, some coins. All right, thank you. Put those right there. And we have a note, which is awesome because uh, that helps with everything. Hey, Complex, here is the, oh, yes, uh, along with a bonus, oh, for you to look at if you want. Uh, I know, <laughs> I can't say that out loud. I know the, uh, I know that, Something is the something of the knife world, but it's hard. Um, toss in a couple of PPL tokens for you to keep or give away. Cool, thanks, man. Um, was in the hospital for a few days, and your daily content kept me sane. Thanks, and keep it up. That's great. I'm so glad that that uh, you know that that you were able to to find some joy um, from my content. Sorry to hear that you were in the hospital. Um, all right, thank you so much. Got us information there. Um, so we have a couple of knives. <laughs> this is quite, there's many layers. Hold on. <laughs> it's so long. Okay. Oh, there we go. That's why the floors are padded now. So we have this and we have this. I kind of want to take a look at this first. Oh no, this is a bench made. So this first one here is yeah, so I've been wanting to look at this. This is one of the newer Benchmade autos, and he was saying, you know, that the uh, he doesn't like the um, serrations, or that he knows that serrations are are something that uh, people don't like. Boy, it does fire really hard, though. You weren't kidding. That fires really hard. People are gonna go, oh my gosh, D two CPM D two guys. CPM D two is not the same thing as D two that we're finding on your fifty dollar knives. Whenever I bring up CPM D2, people bring up Medford because they assume that Medford uses just plain D2 because it just says D2 on their knives. This video has nothing to do with Medford, but just to, I, I want the right information out there. CPM D2 is the type of D2 that you see on those like, you know, knives that cost hundreds of dollars through Medford, right? Now they're pricing outside of that, right? That's a different story, but CPM D2 is definitely what I would call a premium steel. That's powder formed D2. And the end result is a steel that performs completely different in a very, very good way uh, over regular D2. So uh, right off the bat, CPM D2 and something like this, right? I know these are gonna be expensive. That steel choice does not bother me at all. It's a great steel. Uh, what does bother me are these hollowed out, cheapy feeling, um, uh scales what is this is this the claymore is that what this is called boy i really don't like i'll tell you what i really don't like it when they put their website on the <laughs> on the blade i don't like that us mfg okay benchmade clip yeah this is definitely something that i want to take a look at so first impressions it's got some it's got a little bit of blade play but i think i can fix that just by Tightening the uh, the deal there. I don't know if it's got some up and down. Plunge lock autos, sometimes there's up and down play. Um, it does fire really hard. Holy moly, that thing fires hard. It's a safety there, so you can't, right? Yeah, definitely a hard firing auto. Now this other one here is a Hogue that I had requested to take a look at. And this is, yeah, a little teeny, teeny, tiny guy. These are, I think both of these knives are available. So I will, <laughs> the Hogue and HK, uh, little teeny tiny OTF. Boy, I'll tell you what they did right. Um, what I like right off the bat is how steep that is. Uh, that makes it really easy to close and it actually makes it really easy to open too. So if they had flattened it out, it would have been really difficult to open and close because of how small it is. 
That's actually pretty cool. Um, yeah, is this the incursion? I think. Micro incursion. Anyways, I will link this down below. I don't know what this costs. Hogue is pretty good with their pricing. So I'll link it down below. You can check it if you want. Uh, as per usual, when you use my links, it does help me. But whether or not you use them is entirely up to you. I would appreciate it, though. Um, yeah, I'm seeing if I can retract and deploy it with my index finger. It's kind of hard to do just because it's so small with index because there's no brace. There's no good bracing point. That and my finger's just not strong enough. But yeah, it's pretty snappy. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay, just typical amount of minimal blade play. Um, yeah, that's kind of neat. So this is going to be uh, one of those teeny tiny little OTFs that is legal in areas where OTFs are not normally legal in some places. There are places, of course, here in the, in the United States where OTFs are not legal uh, at all, I think. Um, and then obviously, for those of you who don't live in the USA, for most of you, I imagine these are illegal anyway. I think it's silly too. Um, but for a lot of people, this is going to solve some problems. So that's kind of neat. Guys, I think that's going to be pretty much it today. You're definitely going to get full comprehensive reviews on both of these knives. If you're new to my channel, this is not a review that you are watching. It is an unboxing and first impressions. I like to go in blind and just give my honest first thoughts without knowing anything about the knife, having you know never handled it. And then a couple of weeks down the road, once I've had a chance to experience these, study these, uh, I'll do a full comprehensive review, uh, individual videos for each knife. So you can check that out uh, if you want to down the road. Uh, thank you again um, to Jordan for sending these in. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.